Hey everybody, this is Ernie Hatmaker, and we finally got some rain. So I showed a, um, a little, I don't know, clip or whatever where something had dragged out yellow jacket nests and we didn't know what it was. Well, whatever it is, we still have no clue exactly what it was that tore out the nests, but whatever it is must be a meat eater. So it, it's either a weasel or a shrew or something like that that can get underneath the pallets because none of our vegetables have been chewed on nothing's been touched other than you know yellow jackets so this first raised bed here the cinder block bed look how many flowers are on our bonnie candyland tomato and it's mixed in in here with uh I believe these are either bush beans or crowder peas. I really don't remember right now. I think they're they're a peas though because they have the little spreader thingies. <laughs> it is a technical term. Spreader thingies. Just before it rained, we did throw a little bit of fertilizer out here. Uh, there's some kind of caterpillar. A big one on here. Look at that. Look at these patio tomatoes. Can you see the poop in there? Can you see them? I saw the poo. I knew he'd be there. Now, what kind of animal brings a grain head into a pallet full of peas? That ain't no weasel. This gourd has grown about a foot within a day. We didn't come out yesterday because it was raining. But yeah, it has grown a foot on this trellis since I put this clip on it right there. Okay, so I checked all our stuff and it seemed like that was the only tomato that had hornworm or hornworm damage, hornworm poop. Now there was caterpillar poop on the squash and stuff like that, but I saw a woolly bear eating our butter nuts. So I figured there were other woolly bears around and you know, I really can't do anything about them without, like, you know, spraying some heavy-duty poison in the grass where they crawl through. And I'm not willing to risk our garden just, you know, for a few things with the munchies. So, I don't know, maybe I'll plant some weed over there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.